This is the greatest tool for removing your prints from the build plate. Stick around. What's up everybody, happy 2021. I have been slammed with a garage reorg project for the past two weeks. It takes me that long to reorganize. I am a total complete mess. But one thing I did discover doing this reorg is a new tool for removing your prints from the build plate. One that you probably haven't heard of before. I only stumbled upon it from doing some really esoteric Amazon retail arbitrage work and it's called a Scotty Peeler. And there's two different kinds. Links in the description, of course, if you wanna buy some of these, but let's take a look at how they work. There's two different versions of the Scotty Peeler. There is the metal Scotty Peeler that we will be talking about today. And there is the plastic Scotty Peeler. Now, both of these will work. The plastic one I think works really well for FD imprints that are printed flat to the build plate. It's uh, easy to pry those off and it does work on some resin 3D prints as well. But the metal one is specifically well suited. It has uh, edges on three sides. It is super thin as you can see. And so what that allows you to do is you put it flat to the build plate. You press in slowly, give it a little wiggle. You can get underneath uh, your big rafts, etc., And then you can start actually wiggling it side to side and it can start popping off these prints. It works on little prints. It works on big, gigantic, functional prints. It works on everything, and it is super, super delicate, uh, especially when compared to the big, giant, uh, you know, scrapers that you normally get. So guys, you can pick these up for around 10 bucks off of Amazon for a pack of two of the metal ones, or you can get a set of like three plastic ones and a metal one for around the same price. Again, links in the description. If you use those links, I think I'll make like uh, four cents or something. But hey, I appreciated everything. Here's some more videos for you guys to check out. Check out my 3D printing videos here. And if you want some fishing action, it's right here. All right, guys, take care.